A very good morning, children. This is your teacher, Asima Khanam. And today, we're going to talk about an important topic, that is music. Music gives soul to the universe. Music gives wings to the mind. It gives flight to the imagination and life to everything, said Plato. If I were not a physicist, I would probably be a musician. I live my life in music. I live my daydreams in music. I often live in music, said Albert Einstein. Dear children, from the very beginning of life, music has played an instrumental role in bringing people closer. As I said, music is celebrated universally. And in today's session, we are going to talk about the renowned musicians from the different corners of the world. From a collection of the short story titled The Sound of Music. The story has two important parts. The first part is about Evelyn Glynne. A percussionist. Now children, who is a percussionist? Percussionist is a musician. A musician who plays music by instruments. How? A percussionist plays music by striking one instrument with another. Now Evelyn Glennie, she is known worldwide for her music. And another part of the story, which is the sound of music part two, that is on a majestic, wonderful, talented Shenai Maestro, Ustad Bismillah Khan. And in this session first, I'm just going to talk about Evelyn Glenny. But before I start discussing Evelyn Glenny, I would like you people to remember or imagine a little about Helen Keller. You all know children, Helen Keller, she was a social activist, a writer as well, but she was differently abled at the same time. Right? Children, why I am giving the reference of Helen Keller here? Because I am going to talk about Evelyn Glenning, who is specially challenged, who is having a disability. She is a special one. And that is why it's very pertinent and mandatory to mention a little about Helen Keller. So the wonderful quote and the most interesting quote by Helen Keller wherein she states that I cannot do everything, I can do something and I must not fail to do something that I can do. Children, it's very important for us to understand this very crucial statement wherein Helen Keller asks us to understand our selves. She wants us to identify our hidden talent. Each one of us is unique. We are talented. We have capacities and we are able to do things. Maybe we are not perfect in everything, but there is something which we can do. And that is why she says, I must not fail to do something that I can do. Right? Now in life, disability becomes a hindrance for most of the people. Many break down psychologically and rarely can motivate themselves to get back. And the world too never fails to discriminate them. And the lifelong disabled tag leaves an everlasting mark and impression on their minds. 
but Evelyn was completely different. Her story has a different tale to tell. Let's discuss the story in detail. Now the story begins with a 17-year-old, nervous, yet excited girl who was waiting at the crowded platform, underground platform rather. She was waiting for the, her, for the train and it was her first day at the prestigious Royal Academy at London. Naturally, children, it was an intimidating experience for her. She was a fresher, but she was no ordinary girl. She was an aspiring musician who had faced a bigger challenge in life than most. She was profoundly deaf. So her mother recalls when she was young and they called her to play the piano. They called her name several times but she would not move and it was for the first time for her mother to find out that Evelyn had hearing impairment. And then in the school, the author describes that the supervisor and the headmistress asked her parents to take her to the school for the deaf and to take her to a specialist as well. And then the specialist advised her parents that she should be given hearing aids. And this thing completely shook Evelyn. But as I said, she was no ordinary girl. She had a strong willpower and determination. She was an aspiring musician who wanted to learn music. And then later, she witnessed or she came across a girl playing a xylophone. You all know xylophone? Yes, children, a musical instrument. And then Evelyn, though she couldn't hear, she had hearing impairment, but then she had the vision that it was going to be the instrument that she wanted to play. And then Facing a lot of discouragement from teachers at school, there was one teacher, Ron Forbes. He discovered and identified her potential. And he began by setting two musical drums, large drums. But before I move on and give you a description about the Ron Forbes, I would like you people to once again recapitulate Anne Sullivan. Who was Anne Sullivan? Yes, exactly. She was the teacher who actually changed the life of Helen Killer. Helen Killer, as she was differently abled, in the same way Evelyn Glenny was also differently abled. And it was the efforts, the hard work, the dedication of the Anne Sullivan that we today are able to discuss and know Helen Keller. And in the same way, Ron Forbes identified the potential of Evelyn Gleaney and he began by tuning two large drums together at different notes and that is how Evelyn started feeling the music. Ron Forbes would say, do not hear the music through your ears, rather feel it, sense it and that is how Evelyn had put her body open to the sounds and the vibrations. Oh, what an amazing lady, children. What an inspirational lady. You know, we all love music. You love music. I love music. We enjoy it because we can hear. We have that capacity and ability to hear it, to enjoy it. But what about a lady who cannot even hear it. Can you imagine how difficult it would have been for her? Yes, very difficult. 
but then that brings us to the theme of this very chapter, very story, this biographical account, that if you have the will, power and determination, you can overcome all odds in life. If you have that confidence, that love, that passion, the dream, to pursue your dreams, to overcome your difficulties, you can do wonders in life. So, the Ron Forbes, as I said, the teacher, he too was a percussionist, a musician, and he repeated this exercise, not once, not twice, not thrice, multiple times, children, many, many times. And during the course of time, Evelyn was open, her, her body, her mind was open to sense and feel music, to feel the sound, to feel the vibrations. And then, because of her hard work and dedication, she has performed throughout the world. She has given pleasure to millions, millions of people, children. And she can now play more than 1,000 instruments. Isn't that amazing? Yes, of course, it is quite amazing. So children, in life, the only thing, the only attitude which will make us strong is to think and believe that we can do it. We have, rather I have the capacity to do it. I'm no less than other. Disability or you know, uh, being differently abled never means that your life has come to a halt or your life has come to a stop. It means you are blessed with something grand in your life. You are blessed with something big in your life. And you are special. And Evelyn, through her journey, as she was discouraged by most of her teachers, but her teacher, Ron Forbes, identified her potential. Right? So the chapter also highlights the role of a teacher in your life the role and the importance of the student-teacher relationship at the same time. A teacher should be the role model and the student at the same time should be very obedient and very honest in his or her dealings with the teacher. Children, this lesson gives us a very big message, not just one, but two messages at the same time that we all need to know and understand and inculcate. The first message is that if you have strong willpower and determination, you can overcome all odds in life. Evelyn proved it to everybody, to the world, that being differently abled does not mean an end to life. So, Evelyn Gleaning, she says, music pours through my body. It runs through my nerves, which is very important. And we can say this biographical story talks and reveals about the achievements of the multiple cautionist Evelyn Gleaning with a wonderful message that I just discussed. You know, being differently abled or challenged is not a curse, it's a boon. And a small girl of 11, Evelyn Glenny, gets her hearing capacity totally killed. But she does not give to it. She struggles hard, even more harder, and then performs the activities with the help of Ron Forbes a light in her life and she becomes the most sensational music star in the world. And not only this, she has become a figure of inspiration 
for disabled people. She has become a figure of motivation for you, for me and for everyone. So in life, we ought to learn to face our problems with confidence, without having any fear. As I said, you will come across people in life who may demotivate you, who may discourage you, but it's all you who has to decide what you are going to achieve in life. So this story gives and teaches us two important messages. The first message, if you have strong willpower and you are determined, you can face challenges in life. You can overcome all the odds in life. That's important. If you are not determined, if you do not have willpower, you cannot do anything in life, children. That's very, very important. And that is what the lesson teaches us. We ought to have that confidence. We ought to have that vision. You know, we all can see, but we don't have that vision. Helen Killer, Evelyn Gleaney, they were differently abled. They were challenged, right? But then they had vision. And that is the reason today I am discussing Evelyn Gleaney. I am discussing Helen Keller. And you need to inculcate these values from these inspirational personalities. The second message that the lesson teaches us is the importance of a teacher in your life the student-teacher relationship in, in our life. It's very important, children, to have that connection, to have that bond with your teacher, wherein you can connect and express yourselves. So with this, the first part of our story, the sound of music part one, comes to an end. Looking forward to see you in the second video wherein I shall be discussing the sound of music part 2. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.